Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And fun fact you might not know about Grand Theft Auto Online is it's been since the Bikers update, which was October 2016, since we were able to buy a new civilian property in game. So what do I mean by civilian property? I'm talking about apartment, something that isn't necessarily tied to a business. So something that would be tied to a business would be like a bunker, biker clubhouse, an office, a facility, a hangar, stuff like that. It has been since October 2016 since Rockstar have allowed us to buy a new apartment. And it's been even further than that since they've introduced a non-business related property that we could buy. We have to actually go back to 2015, all the way back to executives and other criminals when Rockstar added the yacht and they also added the penthouse apartments and the stilt houses. That's the last time that Rockstar has added something that we could live in that wasn't tied to a business. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about seeing a new type of property just like that in an update later this year, which will be really cool because we haven't seen something like that in a good while. So of course, nothing has been confirmed regarding the next update. My prediction is that we are going to be getting the next DLC for Grand Theft Auto Online in March of 2018. So I think that for Valentine's Day, Rockstar are going to release the 190Z. They're going to do some double money in RP on the previous uh, Valentine's Day adversary modes, maybe some nice discounts too. Um, but I think the next official update will be sometime in March, likely a week or two after the release of the final Doomsday Heist drip feeding vehicle. Can you believe it? We're still getting the Doomsday Heist vehicles out. Seems pretty crazy to believe that. So again, we don't have any confirmed details, but Mark one Bud, who's a user on the GTA forum site, staff member as well, posted something pretty interesting. He said, I think they will add new garages this year, kind of like the CEO ones, but more of a warehouse style this time. Okay, that would be pretty cool. I think that the CEO offices and the garages that are attached to them are some of the coolest facilities we have. However, I still think that the CEO office garages are still tied to something that you have to be involved in a business with. It's not necessarily a solo property that doesn't have anything to do with business. But at the end of the day, they're still pretty cool. They can fit up to 60 cars on three different floors, has a lot of customization. So I think that that would be awesome. Mach 1 Bud is referring to more of a grungier warehouse style. That could be pretty cool. I wonder if it would facilitate other types of vehicles, not necessarily just standard cars. Now he follows up by saying, I think it's gonna be a year of quote unquote, thank you updates. Yes, I know updates aren't stopping anytime soon. I really think it will be downhill from here, slowly winding down to the end of updates. I believe we will continue to see fan requests fulfilled throughout the year, even more so than last year with updates seemingly less focused on a central theme and more varied as far as the cars, clothes, weapons go, like the Doomsday Heist. I think that the March update will be the rest of the Hipsters 2 cars that weren't included in Doomsday along with a new property. So that's pretty interesting. So I had thought we had gotten all of the quote unquote Hipsters Part 2 vehicles out of the way. For those of you guys that don't know, to give you like the too long didn't read version, there was a rumor that I'm Not a Hipsters Part 2 was going to be the next update in Grand Theft Auto Online. This was before we knew about the Doomsday Heist. Then in the Doomsday Heist, we figured out that a lot of the drip feed vehicles, the ones we're seeing right now, very much have a Hipsters-like theme to them. So we assumed that what Rockstar did is they scrapped Hipsters Part 2, but then included all the vehicles they were going to add in sort of the drip feeding ones. Now what Mach 1 Bud is saying is that there are still remaining Hipsters Part 2 cars that we're going to be seeing in a March update. So this is going to be good news or bad news depending on if you've really enjoyed the vehicles over the last couple weeks and we're still not done we still have the vapid hustler we still have the fister comet sr the karen 190z so we have a couple more vehicles left that are going to be really exciting so if you have been enjoying these vehicles then you might be a fan of what's to come in march which would be likely the rest of the hipsters part two cars if that's correct now, building off of that, he says, along with a new property, and that new property to me is going to be pretty interesting because there's only a couple things Rockstar can do if it's not associated with a business. Of course, if it's associated with a business, then Rockstar could do whatever they want.
want. For example, if it's a naval or a sea-based update, they might make the aircraft carrier a new property. And that's something that they could obviously tie into that or depending on whatever update they sort of do. But if it is an update that doesn't necessarily have a business theme to it, then I think there's only so many things that Rockstar could do to add new properties in the game that they haven't done in the past. We already have apartments, we already have penthouse apartments, we have stilt homes, uh, we have yachts. So really the final frontier for what Rockstar could do is sort of beach houses, the one we see on Chumash and Vespucci Beach. Those are quite creative. We could see more types of properties that would likely be residing in Sandy Shores and Blaine County and Palito Bay, some more cabins or something like that. However, what I think is the most likely thing to happen would be the Vinewood Hills mansions that have been in the game since day one, have been completely untouched and unused and Rockstar haven't allowed us to access them. And this has been one of the most fan requested things of all time. So if Rockstar is going to stick with the theme of fan requested items, why would they not introduce the mansions as well? Now building off of that on sort of a separate note, garage space. I know that's gonna sound silly, but Rockstar have added a lot of vehicles in the game and they haven't been adding the opportunity for us to buy more garage space. So you can have a lot of garage space. If you have the 60 car garage with the office garage, all the apartments, the facility, you can get a lot of vehicles stored but at the same rate, Rockstar have been adding more vehicles than space. So I also think it's time to expand on that. And whether Rockstar just adds something like an individual garage or a warehouse like Mach 1 Bug was talking about, or a mansion or a house that has a built-in 10, 15, 20 car garage, something like that would be really cool in my opinion. So I would say we won't get any new information on the next update until the DLC cars from the Doomsday Heist are out of the way. I just wouldn't imagine Rockstar would mix and match things there. We also are supposed to get Red Dead Redemption 2 information sometime soon, so they are gonna have to really start balancing that now, now that they've confirmed a release date uh, by balancing Grand Theft Auto Online, RDR2, etc., kind of going back and forth. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments section down below. What do you think is gonna happen in March of 2018? this year. Do you think Rockstar is going to be adding more Hipsters Part 2 DLC vehicles? Do you think they're going to be including a new type of property or something along those lines? I'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.